<laughs> it testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts! Prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark mm -hmm. on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast! Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom! And welcome back to the Tokyo Black News in Review, episode 166. I guess this would be our true holiday episode. Yeah. 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 I mean, it is, it is the weekend after you know, up Christmas weekend. So, yeah. We got Jermaine, who's, you know, Christmas, Christmas number one. Yeah. <laughs> you got the Grinch here today. Yeah. <laughs> He's been parading around dressed like the Grinch for like a week now. That's frightening. That, that Grinch costume is boss. I mean, he's spared, no, he spared mm -hmm. no expense. He never. He always does. Or never yeah, does. He, he made all the little kids cry. We appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did he go? I was asking if he wrecked anybody's shit. You know. Yo, know, black folk don't know him to do that. That shit will get you thrown outside the right. party with some gunshots in your back. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Shoot that shoot that nigga in the chair for breaking that cake. That cake costs us too much money. What are we gonna do with the body? Just leave him outside. Yeah. They'll be like, You were a mean one. Mr. <laughs> Grinch used to be a nasty one. You know. <laughs> what are you you know, talking about Como? Nah, just the Grinch. This shit funny here. So the Grinch came in your house, you put a shotgun in his mouth. My nigga, I'm gonna need you to put that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. I I'm not that type of Grinch. I expect presents. Nah, my nigga, just leave the bag too. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't he good though? Won't he will? You caught that bitch one time, and I'm gonna need you to go back up through that chimney. <laughs> can we make? Can we? Can we make a uh, a real quick one? One day, come night. Well, well, we we need to make one. Nah, my nigga, put them presents down. Hold up, hold up, man. I'm just shaking these balls. Make sure they got no balls in them, nigga. FBI squad. Uh, Anything. Uh, Get the show started, it'll be even funner. He go down there, the clan having a meeting. <laughs> oh, guys, I think I'm the wrong color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like green either. <laughs> Put the hood on the Grinch. We like you, my man. You stealing from the poor. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, nigga, be a part of the government then. Oh, uh, so let's get on down to the people who can no longer see the Grinch. Death stalks you at every turn Grandpa Well it does ah, there, there it is Death I totally jumped the gun on that But you do got the four amigos today Dusty, Brandon, myself And Jermaine We're going to have a great episode So I guess Death took a nice We took a break this week He must be in uh, Cabo <laughs> Chilling with, chillin with goddamn I'm the grind <laughs> Oh shit why well, ain't even I ain't seen you boy since the great since the black plague, my nigga. I'm back, baby. Fresh Man, out, that, you know. That was Thetacron. That was Thetacron. That wasn't even me. <laughs> you know they're having a conversation. And he like that, man. You know all y'all crunch looking like. <laughs> uh, get on down to these three people who passed away. Nancy, is it Ketting or Knitting? Monarch or some family? She is dead at ninety four. I fucked that all up. I hate she to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Well, man. Jermaine sent this lady to us. I hate when motherfuckers be talking about their um in an influential family who donates a lot of money. I, everybody who donates a lot of money in the slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. just put it out there straight up. Cause you niggas don't get nobody, no poor man in the street, no money. Anybody who always helping organization that help children. Hey man, it is what it is, dog. I don't, I don't understand why it's 2021 and we still loving royalty. <laughs> Nigga, show me how you pee. You pee like me. Show me how you shit. You <laughs> shit like me. Fuck your hey, blood. Right, you got to go work. It ain't, blood. About, it ain't about how you shit. It's about if somebody comes behind you and wipes it for you. Yeah, well, damn, just... cuz. If I had enough money, too, I guess I'd wipe my ass. Does that make me royalty? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, poor people, yes. <laughs> So Nancy Kidding, R.P. Let's get on down to the most important goddamn Desmond Tutu, soft 
Africa moral compass have died at 90. You've actually seen this man. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who made that gift for him. Like, oh, but yeah, he got a nice gift, a gif, how the fuck you want to see it running around out there. He was the anti-apartheid hero, and he won a he won a Nobel Peace Prize that in nineteen eighty four. Like the most un unawarding reward ever. It gets you nothing. Yeah, he got a Nobel Peace Prize. Who you gonna sell it to? Can you sell a Nobel Peace Prize? Like, how much can you get for that? Dog, we don't need no more of them. We got a whole rack full of yeah. them. <laughs> Greta Thunberg shit just came through. Paid yeah. seventy five cent. It's an NFT next year, I heard. It is going to be one. That's how trash it is. I got Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. I always hate it when a nigga say they had. Nigga, what that get you? <laughs> got me 50 likes. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing. No Nobel Peace Prize. You, you used to can drag your dick around and shit. It was like an Oscar. But now we be giving Nobel Peace Prize to any nigga, any, any. Ooh. He saved 40 children from a school bus where the other niggas saved a whole plane full of people. We ain't worrying about him. He saved 20 children. You get yeah. a Nobel Peace Prize, my nigga. I know well, thank you. Felony. <laughs> 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 he, 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 he's on the list. I think he might want to take his, take his Nobel Peace Prize back. And let's go on down to Joanne. Huh. She was a novelist and a screenwriter. We ain't read none of her books. Pay it as it lay. Never heard it. Play it as it lay in a book of common prayer. Obama gave her a brick shout out. I don't know how, I don't know how you say her last name. D-I-D-I-O-N. Oh, I think it's pronounced. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Obama gave her a shout out. Nigga, everybody should know you when Obama <laughs> gave you a shout out. So, I hate to say it, but... <laughs> You had to know who goddamn Desmond Tutu was, though. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Just look up his name. Great by God. Just, I Thank just see it on Brandon's face. He was like, Desmond Tutu. <laughs> and I was just most shocked that I knew who he was besides Brandon. Yeah, yeah I better not go to Africa and say that. <laughs> he come back with that real scubby. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm safe. <laughs> yeah, God damn, you know why you say we're going to send all them people up to heaven. We ain't letting y'all on the bus because we don't recognize your name. <laughs> Back damn, race to Joey like that, my nigga. Back Somebody tell me what two two mean. Back it up, Timbo. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. <laughs> let, let them walk. <laughs> Well, RIP to those people. And shout out to all those people who had a great Christmas. We hope everybody had a wonderful time. And, you know, we want to give a shout out to the people who don't have a lot of family or who have lost family during COVID or just lost somebody important. You know what I mean? We appreciate you. We love you. And hopefully you let us be your family for about how many hours, Brandon? Two hours and 30 minutes sometimes? <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. So let's get on down to why Brandon no longer fears Mr. Tutu. Living in America. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna make me spit my water out. <laughs> What's a part time? Two. <laughs> There's my tutu with nothing to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Tighten your white ass up, and then look at you. It, are we have? Are we having any problem? No, sir. No. I always remember your job is to get home safe and sound, no matter where you are. If you at the corner store or you in another country. I mean, when when you're in the car and the light turns green, you can yell. Fuck wrong with you, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Shut well, now, down. Not road race. So let's get on down to this good old American news. These stories are going to be from December the twentieth all the way to December the twenty sixth, and this is good old American news, boy. This shit been kind of slow lately. I do appreciate the government slacking on the holidays. <laughs> You know, goddamn credit card fraud through the roof, all kind of other shit going crazy. And these niggas up here hiding in the White House. Yeah, true that. My credit card just got stolen like two weeks before Christmas. So Ain't shout, that sweet, though? Shout out to that guy. You're the real MVP. Yeah, because you robbed that nigga. He ain't even know it. It don't happen to me before, too. It, it just amazed me that these niggas tell us every year, excuse me, too. That the technology is better and it gets worse and worse and worse. 
motherfucker mm-hmm. steal my money without him, him walking past me. What are we doing here? Right, right. You couldn't do that when I had cash. <laughs> no, no. You need to get that yep, that metal wallet like me. Yeah, and then that shit gonna give you hip cancer in ten years. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'll need that pimple up anyway. <laughs> cash. Well, that's if the Rona shot doesn't get him first, you know. Hey man, my good, third, man. my third eye's already shining. <laughs> See right through this. <laughs> hey man, some people gonna live through this shit, and some people is not. So let's get on down to Doctor Grouchy, aka Doctor Fauci. We like to come chime in sometime and ask him a couple questions. You know, we gonna you want he want to give a shout out to Mel Keisha Lance Bottom. She has reinstated citywide indoor mask mandate. She is still in office. When she's old, oh, old oh, Keisha, she know how to wear two masks and put her foot on the gas. Thank you. Flame duck, I guess, huh? That dude, I guess. I thought she was. God, I thought she was out of office three months ago. KLB. I hate to say it. I'm with Brandon now. You know, I still wear my mask. I, I would employ all you hillbillies. I don't give a fuck if you've been vaxxed up or not vaxxed up. Put a goddamn mask on. <laughs> but mm-hmm. y'all nigga out here spitting in each other's mouth. What? Singing. What? You know. Disgusting. Brother, on the crunch has been taking niggas out like it looked. Like it's in North Korea and they just shoot motherfuckers for fun. You can probably look. You you can go through your phone and Facebook right now and get ten people who don't call Omnicron, vaxxed up and non vaxxed up. Oh really? I don't know. I haven't. I don't know if I know anybody. Your motherfucker probably scared to tell you now. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You know. Well, it is what it is, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm. I'm just. You know, I don't know what's going on, but we being lied to. Cause, bro, I'm seeing <laughs> niggas who I'm being. I'm seeing niggas who vaxxed up and niggas who ain't vaxxed up. All of them getting sick, and I'm like this. Are we okay? Like, what are you? You know, nine times out of ten, none of them Negroes wear masks. Other than <laughs> white folk, cause I, you know, one of the restaurants I deliver to, <laughs> the whole the whole place had this shit down. I said, damn, don't nobody wear a mask anyway, but me and they be looking at me crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I came to the buffet with a to-go box. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Something's going on here, buddy. You can't gonna... come here with that Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I stopped wearing a mask after I got that shot. I was like, well, this is the mm-hmm. trade-off. You know, I'll, I'll get this fucking brain cancer in 15 years, but I ain't wearing no more masks. Oh, it's choking the hell out of me, but now I just I seen a lady with faux mask on. No I was like, damn, baby, you walking, you gonna pass out. Because you see the, all the different lines from all the masks, and they were color coded with her outfit. Nobody cares about that. Dr. Fauci, one more question. Yes. Yes. Does anybody want to talk about him and um him supporting Trump now? Uh yeah, we can touch briefly on it. Like Trump came out, and uh, do we have this later, Trump? Yeah, Trump we, had to, okay. we have it later. All right, well, I guess we'll save that for later. All right, moving on. Let's get on down to this good old American news. Mel Keisha Lamb Bottom, we shot you out. And I know Brandon was like, damn, she's still in office? I don't know when the mail leaves. I don't even know when the mail begins. I don't even know how long you are mayor. It seemed like it seemed like a person be mayor in Atlanta for 12 years. Damn, Keisha Lamb Bottom still here? How long has she been in office? A hundred oh, years. Never it, seems like. year. it seemed like 12 years to me. Maybe <laughs> COVID fucking up the timeline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he ain't got sworn in yet. That's why she's still the mayor. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I guess after the new year. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can't start now. You on vacate now. <laughs> yeah, but the whole, the whole thing about her, bro, y'all just give it up. We lost. You have lost the battle to fight COVID. You can't keep saying, oh, shit, the number's down. No way I'm mad. Oh, shit, they going back up. Put the mask back up. It's too late. It's too late. Everybody already out there, they riding them scooters with feces on them. They had to play <laughs> laughing at each other. <laughs> it's a motherfucker hey, right now sneezing and coughing. Coughing in your face like SpongeBob when he be <laughs> laughing too much. Niggas just hacking, spitting. Hacking and spit. It's too late to it's too late to fight the shit, dog. We don't lost the battle. You cannot go back and forth. And like, oh, we got radiation outside. The numbers are low. Put your jackets on. Or put your radiation gear on. The numbers going back up. Put your radi- put your radiation gear back on. Nigga, you're already sick. <laughs> I seen Chernobyl. 
You should have been wearing that shit from day one and not listen to the man telling you it's all good. Moving on. No one cares about Joe Biden addressing the world about Omicron, right? No. He, he wanted to li- addressing, <laughs> addressing. He gonna he he gave a stark warning to unvaccinated people this winter. Bro, everybody getting sick. Now you got some questions to answer. Pelosi, what you doing up there? Like Jamar said, you don't do nothing. What you what you doing to catch that COVID? Making all that. That one Pelosi, that was um Elizabeth Warren. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my yeah. bad! Even what? What hell? A little bit old anymore. ass Warren. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get on down to that Capitol ride. We're gonna be talking about that. This shit gonna be a history book of so the shenanigans that went on behind the scenes and in front of the camera. I'm gonna let Dusty touch base on this. Well, Trump was silent for more than three hours after <laughs> after his, after his yeah. supporters stormed right. the Capitol riot. So I don't know, you know, I don't know how many of y'all saw uh, four hours at the Capitol about so the riot. So the whole thing took four hours. Story is, it took like three of those four hours for Trump to say anything. And if you saw the movie, as soon as Trump says something, they're all like, everyone heard him go home and they all leave. But it turns out that the reason that it took so damn long for his speech to get out is because he kept having to re-record it. Because what he was saying was incorrect, and they kept having to stop him, like Mr. President, and they kept having to like redo it over and over, and it ended up taking them three hours till the till <laughs> damn you know somebody had already got hurt. Mr. <clears throat> President, you what? can't keep calling them heroes. <laughs> yeah, the beautiful heroes of America. <laughs> yeah, bro, just to be the simple-minded men as we are here. To be, to be in that room, bro, I would be sick to my goddamn stomach if you trying to tell this motherfucker. It's a lady Jack got shot. She will be fine. Let's re-record this shit and get it right. Oh, Lord. I mean, I'm talking about she didn't get shot till like nearly three hours in either. So <laughs> that shit was fresh. Fresh, fresh. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, shit, that, that shit was right on the tip of his message, wasn't it? A woman's been shot in the Capitol. I'm just like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you Wish think he barred? You, you think Trump had already had the security guard and had on? He he was in the bunker already. Oh yeah, then they call him a bunker bitch. He said he was gonna be down there, but I can hear you show. Well, we get back to me fucking the whole story. Oh, we asked the question: Did Trump run to the bunker, or did Trump get the guns and say we need to go fight for our right to party? I want to go and run for the run for the bunker, please. I like caught him on video at the Capitol, so yeah. yeah, I already mounted up the gallon guns on top of the White House. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they had the alien well ready to shoot. Yeah. You can't shoot them with that shit. That's last resort. Shoot them with those alien lasers. They'll never I come know. to the White House. He tried to give them hot McDonald's apple pies <laughs> to leave. Everybody, you get two for a dollar. <laughs> Give me a dollar and I'll get you all your Obama, apple pies. Obama would have given you Betty Hannas, but oh, I know what yeah. you want. Uh, so like <laughs> I said, it's been, it been a slow week in, uh, US, in the USA because Santa Claus is too busy riding around saving the world. Uh, moving on, another piece Bruh, of Trump can news. I say something Go ahead, right quick about that Santa Claus shit? Uh-oh. Now, I am appeased by it, and I forgot that the news follows Santa Claus slay all night long. No rad. Yes, tisk, oh, yeah. tisk, tisk. We have a story about Norad later on. Go ahead. Oh, I don't know. As I was thinking about Santa Claus, I'm like, how much propaganda have we been, has been thrown in our eyes over the years? You know what I mean? We love Santa, but Santa make, Santa don't make a lick of sense. <laughs> and a nigga will shoot you in the street if you say Santa ain't real. Mm. Mm. I, I want to I believe you. Yeah, me too, man. I want to believe it. You think how much how how much shit have we been lied to about our whole entire life? Uh, a whole bunch. Yeah, you just gotta roll with the punches. Yeah. The plausible deniability it gives us. Hey man, if motherfuckers can believe the earth is flat, I can believe in saying it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's true. Nah, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> and crazy. And I, right. Everything in our lives, every single thing in our lives, all this shit. It goes down to one word, advertisement. 
Everything is about advertisement. Nothing is about saving the. It's about how do you advertise the product and how do you make money. Motherfucker, tell me, I don't believe in Santa. Santa wasn't made for you, nigga. He was made for advertisement <laughs> for people to spend some money. <laughs> yeah, true that. And a nigga always end up spending money. Uh, we're the better for it. Hey, we, hey, yo, me and Jabal gonna have to apologize to you niggas. Y'all didn't get y'all Tokyo Black Christmas gifts. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't no, get not this year. The man took too much money from a nigga. Oh. <laughs> When I become a millionaire, I buy you. So I buy you a luxury vehicle. <laughs> that is about twelve years, years behind us, man. We didn't get that Tokyo Black swag this year. Oh no, nah, shit! Fuck that. Damn it. Son took all that. Moving on down. No one cares about Trump saying he likes Biden now. Blah blah blah. Let's talk about some real, some real body slamming shit right here. This is gonna be the outrageous, crazy stuff. This is from Double XL Magazine. You ever you, you ever been somewhere you just had to leave and didn't want to come back? I mean, yeah. I was just at Bojangles the other day and they fucked my water <laughs> up for the sixth time and I was like, I'm never coming back here. Them niggas can't even make biscuits right no more. Them motherfuckers terrible. <laughs> Bojangles starting to close down. That's how you know the world coming to it then. <laughs> niggas don't even want to eat your chicken. <laughs> Dude, they fucking did not give me my Bowberry biscuits for the third time in a row. Yeah, and hey, then when I went hey, back to get them, you know what they told me? We what? ain't got none. <laughs> well, bitch, why did you charge me for them? That's what I said. What are you doing? I rode off. I rode off without them. Yeah, they didn't give me that. I, no, I fucking... said, bitch, get my money. Did <laughs> you know I ordered Bowberry biscuit? This is a Christmas thing here, bitch. I ordered Bowberry biscuit. I want the motherfucker first. That's the first. If I, I order them biscuits, I want them, they hard. You get them goddamn rocks back. I need some fresh. Biscuit. That's gonna take yeah, a minute. I got out. all the minutes in the world. Did you, oh, you pull out the bow blicky? On them. <laughs> I wanted to pull that bow, that bowberry snub nose. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I need my bowberry biscuit. And the motherfuckers are expensive. They not cheap. It's like three ninety nine for two goddamn <laughs> bowberry biscuits. And uh, uh, I charged it to the game. I was like, nothing is worth this. Because she came out and slung my hash browns at me and didn't say nothing about my bowberries. Like, didn't say, hey, we're making them or hey, we're out. I'm going to go get you a change. Uh, she didn't say nothing. She just threw that bag at me and bounced. You, file, like, you know a corporate, file a corporate complaint, nigga. You can get bowberries for six years. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I didn't think about that. But that's fucking, I don't even want to. Dude, no, I won't because they keep not fucking giving them to me. Sorry, we're no, off the no, right. no, 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 no. Six times B. Hey, look, hey, my name. I'm like Jamal. What that is? Three fifty seven Magnum. Now look, now out of the six time I didn't get my bow bear. I need thirty six bow bear. Yeah. Well, fuck that. Make that corporate complaint. Them niggas will call you tomorrow. They'll call you on Christmas. Make sure you sound like you're white too, and make that shit by like two pages long. God damn it, we got one. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix this. <laughs> No, fuck that. I'm just not going back. Bro, yeah. how do you run out of your special? You <laughs> niggas, tell us about how y'all do these homemade biscuits fresh oh, every bro. day, nigga. And you run out of bow biscuits? That's right. a nigga job. That's what he do. He make, That's the biscuit maker <laughs> over there. They are pocketing mm-hmm. his biscuit money. And this story we was going for, this was not about biscuits. <laughs> yeah, I'm this sorry. About Rick, this is about Rick Ross telling the uh, 85 Soft Comedy Show. That he had to use the restroom. He never came back. He had to drop. He had to drop that Godzilla. Dude, <laughs> that King Kong. I'll, I'll be back. He's the biggest boss that they still haven't seen this at this moment. Actually, whoa, whoa looking so silly. He, he in the van. What you mean he in the van? Yeah, he's in the plane. <laughs> he's in L.A. He went from the plane. He went from the van to the plane to L.A. Goddamn, when he leave? <laughs> he must have been like, man, fuck these dude. This shit yeah. whack. He's gonna make Mills Facebook live back in. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to come see my man, my big yeah. homie, dude. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I guess I would have just had to have busted out laughing like Rick, Rick Ross is on the show right now. It's like, hey, I'll be right back, and then just never came back. I would bust into <laughs> tears laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have been yeah. saying, play those cricket sounds again, Brandon. Those <laughs> cricket sounds. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Mm. 
Uh, let's move on down to some no shit. Let's get on down to any good that won't he will. Sometimes God giveth, and sometimes he taketh take away. away. God has been giving a lot during the Christmas holiday. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna give him something good. Let's get on down to world news. Not really. This is newsweek.com. An abandoned newborn baby <laughs> reportedly found cuddling with a puppy in the field. No, it was cuddling with puppies in the field. First of all, your parents should be whipped in public. Well, if you can find them, it was abandoned. I know. <laughs> and like somebody, had, she didn't just have the baby in the car. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. This motherfucker's a real life Mowgli. He was getting raised by wolves, you know. I don't get it, bro. I, I always thought they raised Mowgli. He almost tender. Look <laughs> at him. <laughs> yeah, they're like apparently, you know, a, it was like a dog, and you know, they recognized that baby couldn't fend for itself, so it was just like, all right, now you're part of the pack, and. They said that's probably the only reason that kid survived out there because it gets cold at night. All them dogs were huddled up around them, giving them some kind of warmth. I'm telling uh, you, bro, if a motherfucker would have saw the old dogs over that baby, he would have killed all of uh, them. I'm telling you, that's how they would have fucked them up. I don't get it, people. You know, if you don't want the children, don't do that. That child haven't tomorrow. done anything. It's utterly ridiculous, but God and somebody else, they they it was a good Christmas ending. They found they found that baby cuddling yeah. with those puppies. He, he, he literally explain. gave it and took it away in that story. Yeah. Yes. Can you, you explain know. to me how a person can have a baby on record and just leave it somewhere? That's insane. Just out like, of the what? field? Come on, man. At least leave it in a gas station where it might be found or something. Nigga, no gas. Yeah. None, of them, none of them bathrooms are clean. I know people be going through some shit, but y'all remember how Rico got whipped on uh, Starship Trooper? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. hey, you don't get no peace to bite on. He just pull out that laser shit, play for Masters of the Universe, and just get to whip <laughs> you like they did Dol- <laughs> Dolph Landry. You gonna, you gonna learn today. Yeah, nigga, walk. <laughs> He, 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 didn't they have to drag him home? <laughs> yes. Who, yes uh, come out. Randy 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, know. so somebody must have just had this baby because the umbilical, go, the, the umbilical cord was still attached to the baby. Yeah, I mean, it was fresh out of the oven. You know what I'm saying? It oh, was, what? what? It was hot and ready. Uh-uh. Who saw her? Where they at? I don't know, man, but you really asked the question. You'd be like, somebody going to come back and say, hey, baby, where that baby at? What you talking about? <laughs> oh, that with them mean-ass wolves? <laughs> Excuse me? You know, I don't get it. You know, I'm sorry for that baby. I hope that baby grow to be goddamn the greatest president of all time. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Oh, this is God being real good. Somebody uh, from CNN.com, a cardboard box filled with a $180,000 cash donation mailed to the City College of New York. You know you don't mail nobody. No. They're they going to probably take 90% of the taxes on that $180,000 in New York. And it was all $100 bill. Dude, that wasn't no donation. That was somebody paying their drug dealer in the box. Got yeah, fucked up man. and said the wrong spot. Yeah. Wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga didn't get there in time to pick it up. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he got it mailed to the school because it wouldn't look suspicious. And then that professor got it now the fucking plugs out 180. <laughs> Shit, he better. Well, eat. give me a couple <laughs> months. I'll get you straight. You know, <laughs> It'll be escape from New York. <laughs> Who in the hell don't, bro? I, I, I don't understand this. This is the most absurd thing to me ever. I never understand why people donate to schools. Like, nigga, this is school. They better not run out no money. Jeez, Who they, the fuck we fending to? Giving our money to? They all ain't got no money. Yeah. And what they always say, nigga, what you make, nigga, pay for that nasty ass lunch? Yeah, true that. I mean, somebody, yeah, it seems like somebody's getting broken off somewhere, but. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like, school, we ain't got, we got bad AC. Nigga, they paid $14,000 a semester. I need mm-hmm. my AC blowing like I'm in goddamn Saudi Arabia, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I want my AC blowing so good. I want to be having a meat and coat on. I want to be in my room dying from black mold. 
right if i'm paying if i'm going 100 g's in debt for this i want to be comfortable well i'm yeah. coming i ain't got no money nigga show me the receipts <laughs> she and the, the light still on in this bitch, ain't it? You still got employees, plenty mm-hmm. of money flowing around here. Mm-hmm. That Jaguar you got, nigga, looks real new. <laughs> <laughs> Start to sound like church. Yeah. Uh, moving on. So you know, good thing of God, somebody gave the folks all that money. I don't know if I would have been that nigga. Man. I don't know if I would have been that man that been counting that money. Hey, Brand, I'd have been running the package upstairs. Oops, <laughs> the package dropped over. All the money fell off. Somebody donated up eighty thousand dollars. I was about to say I'd open that box and somebody donated us a hundred. I mean eighty thousand dollars. Yeah, nigga, somebody sent us dog shit. I'm gonna throw it away in my car. Let me get this out of here. <laughs> I ain't want nobody else to open this up. Where you going? I'm going home too, nigga. I'll be back. <laughs> Be leaving that bitch like Golo. <laughs> the precious. The precious. Hey, what you got in that box by this finger? <laughs> 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 that nigga don't went. The janitor don't went crazy. <laughs> Can I borrow five bucks? I do not have the money, okay? <laughs> Did you hear me? Get out of my way. This box getting very heavy. <laughs> it's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a good way to draw some attention <laughs> to your money, nigga. <laughs> uh, so moving on. So good thing for that college. <laughs> Let's move on to the other colleges in the United States of America till you don't fucked up your money, right? This is where rich people have money and they lose it. <laughs> we do what we do. You know, we are very happy when poor people lose their money as well, right? Now nah, we just like we just like rich people lose their money. Some of us you like gotta, to give, some of us like to take it away. Oh, let's get on down and you don't fucked up your money, right? All these celebrities who've been paying their dues. <laughs> or haven't. Oh, they haven't been paying their dues. <laughs> let's get on down to independent dot com UK. Nobody in this whole conversation has ever asked this question. <laughs> oh, well, we are really waiting on Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. James Cameron came out. He called he called making four Avatar films in one go a big roll of dice. Nigga, you finna bankrupt the company. <laughs> yeah, are you, are you guys clamoring to see... Avatar two. Who is who is this person? Yeah, I clamoring. Mean, Who's clamoring to see Avatar after pretty, the first one? Who? Bro, that nigga shot four movies. That nigga show that, them to me. He finna bankrupt this studio. He told me I don't think we're gonna make any money. Yeah, think nigga. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that story where he said he was worried about waning attention. For the, yeah, no kidding. When the first it's been one, twelve years. Good. I was about to say it's been like twenty years since the first one came out. Who gives a shit now? You had to strike oh, while the iron was hot, fool. You, you were fucking up the game, Jamar. Right? Somebody's gonna lose some jack on this one. Them niggas shit. You realize when they shot the Lord of the Rings, the two towels, and the Return of the King, that shit almost bankrupt the studio. Mm-hmm. These niggas shot super CGI. For Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5. A man said he cried when he read the fifth strip script. I would have been like, my nigga, I'm tired of reading it. How much my like do you get a raise doing six movies at one time? That nigga said he got he cried at the fifth script. Well, it, it, yeah. it, 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 it ends the movie. And I'm like, this my nigga. I appreciate y'all telling me the villain gonna be in all these movies right. when he should have died in the first one. Yeah. He Man, I don't even that, remember who the villain is. My bad, Dusty. Go ahead. Oh, uh, he cried because that was the guy that wrote Fern Gully and he wasn't getting any money for those sequels. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> true too. True that. True that. that <laughs> hey, look. This is mine. Thank you, Dusty. That shit is like Fern Gully. Damn. It's a lot shit. like it. Shit, Trey, man. Like I said, I, I liked Avatar when I first saw it. I thought that shit was amazing. But you come back again, you're like, wow. This movie's awful. Dude, it ain't, it isn't a bad movie per se, but like I don't know if it should, I don't know if it was like global phenomenon good and but now a hundred years later I could not give less of a fuck. 
You know what I'm saying? Like I might have, I might have caught an avatar too. If it had come out like two years later, I'd be like, all right, I'm in for this one again. But mm. fucking 150 years later, I, how yeah. do you convince a white man, hey, bro? I need to shoot James Cameron. Why don't full you go, movies? Why don't you go back, back to the drawing back. board and make a decent Terminator? No, no, no. He's uh, done. He's too old. He was a part of that other shit. And that Terminator Salvation, not Terminator Salvation, Terminator um, Genesis. No, it wasn't Genesis either. It was Terminator. Dark Fate. Dark Fate was oh. the worst. It was whack. <laughs> I didn't get all the way through it. I started it like kind of late oh, they, one night. Oh, it gets worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We had to talk about that shit off screen. Moving on. <sighs> Nobody cares about all those James Cameron movies, my nigga. R.I.P. to whoever company that <laughs> gave you all that money. <laughs> this nigga said, I'm afraid we ain't going to make no money. I said, look, you remember that bitch shit you said about Marvel? <laughs> Spider Man made $1 billion over right. 12 days, nigga. Somebody got some splaining to do. <laughs> Bro, that motherfucker was <laughs> It ain't the first Spider Man to do it either. Right? You read that story? Not during the pandemic, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see Dusty picture that uh, that puppet in the back. That's how he was looking when he see how much Spider Man made. <laughs> yeah, like um, Oh shit. I don't know. They said Tom Holland had been in five movies and made over a billion dollars. So I can't wait for Avatar two, three, four, and five. <laughs> for what? That shit gonna be like divergent. That shit got worse and worse and worse. That's true. Let's get on to another company that has gotten worse. Um, or sir, we're gonna make that into a word. This is from harddrive.net. Nintendo sue a guy for twenty five dollar from for him from him selling a Nintendo sixty four controller online. You don't fucked up your money, right? Why are you suing that nigga for twenty five dollar? It must be a slow day in Nintendo world. Right, man, you've already made a gajillion dollars off the fucking Wii and the Switch. How much fucking more money do you need to make? I mean, come on, man. Get out of here. This is ridiculous. You mean to tell me, nigga, I can't sell the shit I paid my good heart on money for? And he said he just found it in his, he found it in his attic. With a bunch of old things. He was like, damn, I don't need this. I can just sell it online and give it to somebody else who might need it. And then they hit that nigga with some papers. Get the papers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I'd, I would have to be like, man, y'all are going to have to eat a dick on this one because, you know, <laughs> 25 bucks. Fucking suck on my left nut. You know. <laughs> that nigga said he got the paper. He was like, what the hell am I going to court for? It's, it's a goddamn Nintendo 64 controller. We got to tighten up in this world. Bro. I'd have, we gotta yeah, I would just have to be like, your honor. Uh, uh, go on ahead and hit me with that contempt because I'm about to put my balls on the table. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> Straight up. I'm I not make to be $12 you. an hour. <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to disrespect the court, but I'm about to flop my dong out. Mm. You sent Nintendo sent some nigga for twenty five dollar. Y'all must really be hurting. <laughs> They're not though. They're not. And, e- and eBay like that. Well, you know we ain't tell we ain't tell them to sell that sixty four controller. Yeah. <laughs> they probably want to sue eBay. <laughs> Fucking this this is ridiculous. Somebody so th- this is the sign of like either they got a new manager over in legal who's trying to make a name for himself or somebody just got a promotion and they're that guy. You know, trying too hard to impress their boss by suing somebody for $25. Something's got to be going on. I'm sorry, Brandon. If I was the president, I'd come down. Hey, Brandon, you the one when you sued the guy for $25. Yeah, yeah, man, that was big news. Made Nintendo a lot of, moved us up in the um, the ratings. You're fired, nigga. You're fired. (laughs) Today. Today. Here's your Nintendo controller. That is your life savings from the company. (laughs) We'll holla at you. Moving on, let's get on to somebody else who don't fuck up their money. At one time, this guy was a celebrity, I suppose. I don't really know. Can't remember. We all love Home Alone, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The first one and yeah. the second one. Yeah, yeah. Let's slow down on the second one. The first one's good. <laughs> hey, man, I like the second one. The second one's funny. This holiday. Yeah. 
We didn't so, need the crow lady. She always freaked me out. But Dusty. Wow, man. It's worth it. You know, th- let their Tim Curry in there. It was fine. Don't look yeah, at me like, like that. Hey, 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 man. I, Brandon, he, Brandon don't like good sequel. You right, know, right. His parents should have been arrested for arrested for child neglect. But hey, he white in America. <laughs> Dude, I like sequels just fine. You know, Empire Strikes Back is great. You know, but this one... How many times can they lose this kid? It's like not believable. Like they didn't get in trouble for leaving the kid the first time. It was where in is, the nineties. Nigga is, left kids everywhere man, in the mall. Come on, get everywhere. Out. Dude, come on, man. Once the fucking bandits would have got caught and that have made national news, CPS would have had to check on that family every month. They mean tell me they did it again on the same holiday. At least make him lose mm-hmm. him on Flag Day or something. You did the exact same shit the very next year. Fuck Did you see here. the house them nigga was living in? You can't go to them white folk house and tell them he lost a kid. That shit you do in the hood. Yeah. These yeah. are outstanding Americans. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they knew he was a monster and set him up to, you know, do his monster shit while they went and had fun skiing or whatever. But I don't, twice, oh, twice, you lose the same kid twice. Yeah, and then the mama had to come and get him. The whole family stayed skiing and shit, which made no sense. Yeah, yeah. And then they all showed up. Oh well, we came too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, right. boy, thank God COVID wasn't going on. You niggas would have never got to me. <laughs> they let the mom run by herself in New York. That's, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, mm-hmm. man. Come on, get out of here. The the movie still worked, but this is from a Home Alone actor. What is it, Devin? Rat Ray? Rat Ray or Rat Tray? Devin Rat Ray. Is it, is it Retray? Because it's actually R A T R A Y. Hold on a second. I'm looking it up. On my Buzz. Phone. Buzz. That your ain't girlfriend, me. Wolf. I'm looking it up his right old, now on my phone. His older brother. They pronounce it. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Well, goddamn, the police know who this man is because allegedly he may be going to jail for trying to strangle his wife, his his girlfriend. Let me tell you something, Jack. If you got if you got to strangle your girlfriend, and he just was in Home Alone six, whatever the one they just brought out, oh, which home I heard was, Home Alone. Yeah, what I heard was I heard that shit was terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's I a Disney Plus movie. Too. You did? Oh no, I did not check it out. No, but he's actually in the movie. Oh. Yeah, but my nigga, if you strangle your girlfriend, if you strangle or try to strangle your girlfriend, you got some answers to answer, but today. You sure do. We're not talking about Kevin here. Fuller. Fuller, what's the bed? Going to jail, Jack. <laughs> like I say, some people need to be strangled. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. <laughs> you need to make I, sure you, you I know. I agree. I agree, yes. Like I had to tell somebody, some people need their jaw check, man. You know, you need to check and see if they got a weak spot or not. Because some people get real reckless out here. Sometimes you just got to reach out and tap them on the beak. Mm. <laughs> you heard them? That go for men, women, and children. They take a finger, you take a hand. <laughs> so you don't fuck up your money, Jack, and you probably going to jail trying to strangle your girlfriend. When they use strangulation, nigga, they start putting your picture next to cannibal. Oh, I know. And niggas right. who strangle women. <laughs> I saw that. When I saw that word strangle, I was like, rut row. Shit, nigga, rut row. It's a rap, dog. Moving on to somebody else who's having a rap. How much do people love Hugh Hefner? This is going to be from nypost.com. A young man by the name of Daryl Rovell. Ravel. I don't know. Sorry, I can't read. Let's move on down. He bought Hugh Hefner Viagra pills. He bought a bottle in an auction for $7,860. And you asked the question, what, 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 what do you get with a man's Viagra medicine? Who is selling this nigga Viagra medicine pills that are empty? It just got his name and his medicine. Why would we buy that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's some kind of a conversation starter, but you know, no, it's like it's like a throwback. It's like, who do you want, girl? You want Hugh Hefner? You want Anna Nicole's husband? You know, like <laughs> this was a collection like that his items. third his third wife got from um Hugh Hefner over the years when they was married. You telling me? 
a whole bottle of Viagra make more money than I do. That's terrible. <laughs> that shit terrible. That motherfucker sold a bottle of, a, a bottle with no Viagra in it because it got Hugh Health in the name on it for seven Gs. Nigga, anybody in Publix in the medical aisle can produce that, bo- that bottle for you. <laughs> Same thing I'm printer. saying, yeah. Nigga, you can buy you a bunch of Viagra for the seven Gs you spent. You don't need to store it no more. Just tell you, baby, you got that hard up. <laughs> well, who gonna be looking for Hugh Hefner items in forty years from now? He gonna he, 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 he it ain't worth seven G's. A seven grand? This motherfucker paid for that. Yes, yeah, seven thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, that one got past me. Yeah, you done fucked your money up. Right Hell now. yeah! <laughs> Look what I got. Nigga like, dropping in some water. Yeah, that's a dollar per degree. His penis rose upward. Man, that's just in, that's just insane. That's nigga, five hundred. That's nigga. That's two hundred dollar per letter on the goddamn on on on, on his medicine cap. That's, that's ridiculous. Moving on, white Fuck people. Y'all got too much money up disposable income. Moving on to somebody who has a lot of disposable income. This is from Electric. Trek.com. So, you know, thank God we're poor and can't afford a Tesla, right? Right. I believe I'm glad I, I can't afford one. So this dude back in like 2012, 2014, I don't know when he actually bought this Tesla, but his battery went dead. And nobody has ever had to really pay for their, their Tesla battery because you get like a seven-year warranty, which is bullshit. Because nigga, I ain't going to pay for a 99 a 99 thousand dollar car and I gotta pay twenty two thousand dollars to goddamn replace the battery once my warranty go over. Man. Mm-hmm. What did he do? So you know so you know what this great man did. So this whole story is based on his battery went dead in his Tesla and he's had it for a while. His warranty had just had just went out. Oh they said you need twenty two hundred dollars for a new battery. So he said I ain't paying that shit. And as a white American he is he put dynamite around his Tesla and blowed that shit up on YouTube. <laughs> this boy has moxie. He got great goddamn moxie. Nigga, what? But you oh, know he what? told him the battery, yeah. He said it was almost $30,000 just for a battery. He said it's ridiculous. Nigga, you got to know what you buying. You want to buy a Tesla, don't you, Jack? You want to be self-propelling around town, just self-driving? Well, I mean, hell, man. Like, the batteries don't last forever. They should last more. How long does this guy have this car? Did it say? Past his seven-year seven year warranty. Yeah, I heard it was old. old. I mean, yeah, if you've had that motherfucker for eight years, then... <laughs> but the problem is, people's battery are not going dead until after the warranty. <laughs> well, fucking of course they ain't. That's why they guess when the warranty, so they don't have to pay out on it. You know, and that's why they, they don't test them. They last by seven and a quarter. Yeah, yeah I didn't get a six year warranty. That's why six they, year. That's that's why they keep calling. They, I'm sure they called that guy about extending his car warranty. He just didn't take them up on <laughs> you it. Mean you mean to know? tell me he didn't get one call yeah, about right. extending his warranty? If he just took that call. Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck do you get dynamite from? Like, what well, white people just so resourceful? I need dynamite. Can y'all go out in the street and get me dynamite in less than an hour? Oh, yeah. I tell you, old Tex is robbing a train later. I'll see when I can. <laughs> we used to have the hookup. Yeah. Huh? I said we used to have the hookup. Oh, yeah. On dynamite? Our buddy Nigga, who Everybody cares waiting dynamite? On there. We're all waiting on this explanation. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, I need a couple of grenades. Here you go, brother. What the fuck Let's you Let's clarify. Tokyo Black don't know where to get none of that. I mean, yeah. think about it, nigga. The most thing, I, the, one of the most dangerous things I don't want a nigga to hand me is dynamite. <laughs> do you know what unsafe dynamite can do if your nigga put it in your hands wrong? Like, I packed this in myself. Oh, you did. Get this shit out of my house, nigga. I don't hey, want man, who- nitroglycerin. <laughs> Who was the dynamite man? Like who? Who the slave putting dynamite together? <laughs> we got even the job. That got to be like the dangerous place to work here, nigga. Where we work? I work at a dynamite factory. Ooh, 
<laughs> right. Come home to see your kids one day, huh? Right, red flagged over this conversation. Oh hell yeah, that shit I'm dangerous. Just, I'm just asking a question: like, who makes dynamite? Who has the best brand of dynamite? <laughs> Acme, I don't want to buy like the damn the family dollar dynamite. I want to get some of that um uh, that you know that Walmart dynamite. They're gonna last for a while. Oh, Brandon, <laughs> shit... Brandon said Acme. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. It ain't never worked. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, I don't call the ugly spend his money. <laughs> no, nah, my bad. Elma Fudd shit didn't work. Yeah, y'all need me to stop buying saying, the product. Acme, don't get Acme dynamite. Yeah, I'm just. You know, can you buy it on Walmart online? Like you can get a casket. I'm finna like, look do it dog, up now. Dog, Where can I buy like, dynamite? dynamite? Yeah, slow delivery so I can get a dollar on videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Moving on, let's get on down to Fox FoxBusiness.com. If you haven't heard me say it before, I've said it ten thousand times before. You can't stop COVID. You know why? Because you can't trust people. People are selfish and people are going to always do them, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. That's the laws of power. I do have some carnival stock and I need y'all motherfucker to tighten up because I'm losing my shirt over here right now. But Carnival Cruise Ship, this story is from Fox Business. They deny entry. They are denied entry to two ports after a small number of onboard positive COVID tests arrived through like the guests. By the guests, huh? Wow. Well, the you know the COVID freedom. I mean, not the COVID. I mean the Carnival. Carnival freedom. Cruise Line. Yeah, the car. No, nah, it's called the Carnival Freedom. That's a, that's the name of the ship. I it's the you. third cruise ship out of the South Florida to be quarantined. Eh, let me tell you something, Jack. What you don't want to do is catch COVID on the ship and have to sit in your room. You do not. I don't know if y'all saw that movie. Man, I did not see the movie, but I seen them niggas on the news, and they was looking pitiful. It's on, yeah. Last cruise. Check it. Brandon wanted some of that free cruise shit. I said, y'all niggas get stuck on that water. They were the, were the guinea pigs. They were the test subjects, the real test subjects, those people on that cruise. Mm-hmm. So. Cut, the, cut the motor off on them niggas. Let's see how long they are last. They don't stop them from going to the Caribbean and everywhere else. Like, carnival ships are getting turned back. You know they got to fill up and goddamn feed them people. Yeah, it's like $15 to go to feed you. Dude, let me tell you something. I'm going over the side of that boat as soon as it gets close to land. You know, I'm getting off that (laughs) motherfucker. I I don't think you want to do that, Jack. Jellyfish. Jellyfish my ass. There ain't no... I'm going over the side. I'm going to look like fucking Greg Lugane is coming off that motherfucker, you know? (laughs) Boy, you better hurt. You better put that bitch back in reverse. I <laughs> will told y'all, no man. Hey, look, don't come, don't get out that boat. You do, we'll shoot you. <laughs> and you know them folks will kill you. <laughs> and then they'll uh-huh. set your body on fire. Oh <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> wife would be mortified. If I might like, quote y'all, we gonna see because <laughs> <laughs> I got. Well, gonna, I'm telling you, what they gonna blast it to the next century? Got, don't trust it, man. Just stay on the boat, B. No. <laughs> no, son. I'm an American Jack. I got a right to not be on this boat. Like Battleship B-17. They're going to lose his shoes. Don't do it, B-Man. I'm telling you, boy. Them folks, they're going to they have so much pleasure in blasting your ass away. And then they going to burn the body and put it on YouTube. Mm, mm, mm. Like, nigga, what if you went to the Philippines? <laughs> I bet your ass stay on the shoot him execution style. But he broke both legs. What did I tell you to do? I said execution style. I got you. Don't mind if I do. Moving on to Pretty Ricky. No one cares about this group, but one of the guys had. Well, have you some, seen this nigga? Yes, he had did some people. Bro, you have to realize something. I don't know how they do people contracts, but getting into music is a scam. It's a scam. It's a scam. Cause when your 25 minutes are up, my man, you got to start scrambling to get that money. So allegedly he did a PPP loan scam. Mm-hmm. What's everybody doing a goddamn PPP loan scam? Most of them are getting away with it. But this, how does a man who owns nothing to get a $24 million PPP <laughs> loan? It's a fair question that needs to be asked. 
Now, who who was validating these people paperwork? <laughs> Man, I know that nigga need to keep a shirt on. Nobody. Oh, yeah. yeah, they probably had to pass them out so fast they didn't have time to vet anybody. Man. And then again, I, you nigga keep trusting the government. They ain't even handling our money right. Oh, God, we've lost so much money on those fucking things. I don't even understand. I'm just like, dude, y'all nigga giving out PPP. Hey, bro, the first thing I asked the dude, he said, yeah, I'm going to give me one of them PPP loans so y'all can get my business together. I said, nigga, you taking a loan out on top of this other loan you got on this business to keep it afloat to hope COVID go away? Yeah, you <laughs> fool. You should get an only fucking fans. fool. Yeah. You don't you're need like OnlyFans. Yeah. You like everybody else. Get an OnlyFans. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. Don't get a loan. You got to pay money on top of it. That's a small percentage. I said, you think you don't have to pay that back? Well, no. Nah, if you did everything right, you didn't have to pay the PPP loan back. But it's a, it's the government, man. Them nigga give you 2,000 things you need to follow. And if you fuck up one, one we coming yeah. for that money. Carbon signature. Today. That one nigga that walked away and not paid that shit back and they missed one step. Dude, you know how much money we lost on that? It was like five hundred million dollars we got scammed out of, you know, over the whole thing. <laughs> Ain't he good? Quit though. send them to them Nigerian warlords. <laughs> <laughs> all them niggas who lost in outer space. <laughs> I've been lost in outer space for twenty five years. I need a PPP loan to come back. Oh, we, how much you need? Forty-seven million. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Hey, Brandy, when you send the money, what I'm gonna say? I do not have the money. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear me? And nobody knows who Baby Blue is from uh, Pretty Ricky because the, you know anybody who like Pretty Ricky is in their forties now <laughs> or late thirties. Moving on to mind your business. This week, Brandy, people you know I did who not. That is. Look at Brandon's face. He, he eating his cereal like hmm. I don't think I know those Negroes. <laughs> Moving on to my I, I don't know who this man is. You know who Pretty Rick is? You ain't missing much. I know I know Dusty, no. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. He's making I'm, that uh, outcast song, even. So. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. Moving on to Mind Your Business. These are the stories that we read. We should mind our business. You see somebody getting their head bust open in the middle of the street. Don't save said person. Call the police when you get in your car. You know what I mean? I have a mind. I, I have a somebody fucked up my wings and they should have minded their business, but I should have minded my business. And I tell you at the end of the mind your business. Don't no, worry about it. If you sinning, you got to expose yourself before we get to mind your business. Sinning? Anyway. Huh? Yeah, you're sinning me that you didn't mind your business. You was all in that shit too. Oh, oh, that's about, that's about, hey, bro, let me tell you what happened to me Wednesday. Got off work. God, get off Riverdale. Boom. I catch a flat tire. Ran over something. I said, all right, let me call roadside assistant. I called this nigga. He had the audacity to call me back and run the numbers. So I right, everything good. Your tow going to be $170 because you ain't got roadside assistant. I said, clown, you a lie. Hung up the phone. Looked it up. I just switched my insurance. Now think about this. I don't know how that shit didn't get on there. Make a long story short. Fuck that. Caught the flat tire. Took it off. And this little turn lane. Got my homeboy going back. Go get a tire. It took me about an hour. I've been gone. When I come back, this nigga, we got to do a U-turn. I look around. Say, hey, bro, where my car at? That nigga to my weed part this far down here. I said, nigga, I live over here. Nigga, I know where I left my goddamn car. I thought somebody stole my car. But come to find out, let me tell you how good my luck is. If I would, I, I should have minded my business and not been looking for my car. They impounded my car. For what? The motherfucker said I was impeding traffic at 10 o'clock at night. And a turning lane long as my dick. I was Aww. like, nigga, what? <laughs> bro, I was touching the air like, where's my vehicle, bro? My shit was sitting here. And I know I ain't crazy. I ain't smoking nothing. I ain't drinking. 
He like that, oh, bro. You don't tell nobody stole your car. I'm like that, nigga. Do you see it? Yeah, <laughs> bro. They impounded my car. It cost me two hundred and twenty dollars to get my car out of the fucking impound. If I would have minded my business and took the regular way home, I would have been fine. But no, hell no. That ain't terrible. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah, nigga, what terrible? Right, right, right before Christmas Eve, I was like, "Damn, you gonna take all of my money?" Swindlers, oh That's swindlers, tough, man! You're mean one, Mr. Grinch. Hell <laughs> yeah, boy! I'm telling you, boy, I want to go steal every nigga Christmas bonus if he ever had one. Anything. It was terrible. My bad, Jamal, for that very elongated story. But oh, that's fine. That, no I wish that there. police officer would have mind his fucking business and went home. Man, it's true that they normally do. Especially if you hadn't been there that long, you know, bro. Like, I was gone, maybe an hour. I come hey, bro, back. I'm just hey. like, nigga, you ain't put no nigga, nigga. What you doing? Oh man, it, it was a terrible. It's, it's been terrible, just terrible. Yeah. It's so terrible. the way he found out, he called the police to report it stolen, and later, like, huh, I just heard somebody say they picked the car up over there. Uh, band. Somebody, somebody said they picked up an abandoned car. I said with the jack on it. You ain't see my work bag in there. I said medicine and shit on the floor. I wasn't living in it, nigga. <laughs> mm. I go. You think I abandoned my jack? I need that. Whatever. Yeah, Go ahead, Jamal. Let's get on down to CNN.com. South Korea pardon they pardon a disgraced president. We should start doing that shit. I, the only thing I do like about China, but they don't care about sending no nigga to jail. President, bank owners, business owner. I like it. She spent 25 years in jail. God damn. <laughs> hey, look, nigga, corruption. <laughs> Yeah, didn't some corrupt politician just get out of jail here after only serving like a year and a half or something? Yeah, bro. I don't know what it is. We don't have enough slap on the wrist. Me, you, and Dusty and Jermaine to go to jail for 50 years for some bullshit. This motherfucker embezzled all the money out of the company and do 67 days. <laughs> yeah, ain't he good, I guess. No, hell he ain't, God damn it. He... I'm go. Hey, look, we need them China law. You know what? <laughs> That'll run some of them goddamn politicians straight. You want to yeah, do them. forty years in jail, Jack? Quint, San Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them flim flam artists are tighten up. I once seen some motherfucker in South Korea paddle all the employees at the bank on on live TV because they were stealing money from customers. I said, whoa. Biggest <laughs> You a grown ass man getting paddled by the government. You wish you had it so good in America. Brandon, <laughs> where that shit won't happen that? Living in America. <laughs> Bro, the motherfucker bent don't put that nigga had that big paddle that you know, one of them paddles that you see you just pass out cause that motherfucker so big. Just wearing these women, men wearing their ass out. And I was like, and then they were forever shamed. <laughs> we need to get back to shaming goddamn people. Scarlet letter, some of these people. <laughs> Starting out with politician and rich people who be doing heinous crimes. Moving on. Oh, yeah, this is about Santa Claus right here. This got to be from Fox News. You know, MSNBC columnist calls for the end of the NORAD Santa Tracker out of concern for Santa safety from the U.S. military. This is when we are now going crazy. This is when, have you, feel, have you, you know what, before I jump into this shit, lately I've been feeling like I'm not really here. Like, I'm, I don't know if it's, it ain't no COVID and then the Omicron. I've been feeling like I'm not supposed to be here, bro. I like that. What, what are we doing here? Have we, have we landed in the world of stupid now? Yes. Well, the reality started to merge. Nigga, Santa Claus ain't real. If the military shoot down Santa Claus, nigga, they shooting down something else. <laughs> and I need to see the pictures. Yeah, I need. Hey, I'm today. with you. Go ahead, Brandon. I said today. The columnists wonder if the military would wrongly kill Santa. Nigga, he ain't real. Would you? I... We gonna shoot? We gonna shoot him out the sky like Jack Skeleton from the Nightmare Before Christmas? Nigga, you think that was real? 
I'm trying to figure out who wrote this shit on a piece of paper and called it an article. My name. Mind your business. Mind. Nigga, Santa Claus, they've been tracking Santa Claus for 80 years. And I'm pretty sure kids don't even care no more about Santa Claus. They just want your punk ass to have their gifts up under the tree. By the time you ate, you no longer believe in Santa Claus anyway. Yeah, fuck who not a nice nigga. Am I right? Am I wrong? I could be wrong. Now, if your child 15, he still believe in Santa. You got to ask him a couple questions. <laughs> I'm going to just say, God bless him. He Am loves I crazy? What he like. Do no, we need to stop the NORAD situation because they scared the military going to shoot Santa out the sky? Dusty, what do you think? Man, it don't make no damn sense. Nigga, what do you think? Reindeer actually fire? If it's a reindeer with a red nose, he on that, he on that salt pack. <laughs> <laughs> From the boy. He, oh, he the only one, he the only one can handle the salt pack. Right, nigga. Where we at? <laughs> we need to be juiced up. We need to be shaming him for hiding the good stuff. <laughs> yeah. But so somebody's gonna have this information before the military, you're telling me. It's oh, insane. God. These niggas wanna shut down fake Santa Claus. I'm telling you, boy, these niggas are going to be eating out of a straw pretty soon. <laughs> Y'all got to tighten up, man. Moving the metal is going to suck them dry. Them niggas going to uh, be spine fluid. Jamal yeah, know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, all day long. Let's get on down to Yahoo.com. Doesn't vanish without a trace in America's new Bermuda Triangle next door. They disappeared in Mexico... Or something. They went to some desert and these kids and all these people disappeared. I'm like, nigga, that ain't the Bermuda Triangle. That's slave trafficking. Yeah. Who in the hell? Nigga, everybody going to the desert disappear if they not well prepared. Yeah, yeah. It's tragic. They end up on the audition of Cuties too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they said they had to get they had they had a smuggler guy. What? We, how, how do you check behind a nigga uh, math if he's a smuggler? Do you just believe everything he say? You know, they probably find him on the internet. That's how crazy everybody is now. Mm-hmm. It used to be you knew a nigga, you knew another nigga that knew a nigga, but now they just, yeah. Smuggler. Craigslist this nigga. Again, the Tokyo Black Hour does not know anything about dynamite or what makes it, or who knows somebody that knows somebody. Yeah, we don't know nothing about we don't know nothing about no smuggling. We don't get into nothing of that criminal shit. <laughs> we may talk about it, but we don't dive into that criminal lifestyle. <laughs> no, nah, I like to go home and stay home. I got a weak jawline for prison. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bro. And white folk want to keep going to the Bermuda Triangle and disappearing. That's on y'all. If y'all want to keep going to this desert where niggas are disappearing, that's on y'all. I just put it out there like this. I don't bring demons into my house, and I sure as hell don't go looking for them. You know what I mean? I ain't going to look for the Titanic. I ain't going to look for gold bullion in the ocean. Oh, Nigga, it's, in, it's, it's down there for a reason. That doesn't me mean go down there and pick it up. Next winter, me and you are going to go visit the terror, the HMS Terror. No, 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 no. It'll be an Arctic expedition. That'll be dope. Tokyo Black remote. Oh, hell yeah. Like I say, I'm with you. I'll stand outside. Go on, on in there, Dusty. You'll be on Zoom. Yeah. Ne- <laughs> I never bring the demons inside my household, my man. Be like, look, look, Jamar. Here's where the polar bear attacked. Oh, Hold man. the laptop up. Mm-mm, they did. Uh-huh. That's why y'all going to all them honey houses and playing around and shit. No. <laughs> then be found with their neck turned the opposite way. How the hell that happened? PCP. Exorcist. You remember PCP with everything? That nigga killed 22 people. What happened? He's, PCP. Mm-hmm. He lifted a car. PCP. Yeah. <laughs> naked. As long as it ended with naked. Yeah, oh, PCP hey, was was like definitely PCP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get on down to the end. Is now. Scientists have discovered so much stuff to make our life better and also kill us in the long run. Did anybody want to talk about people know what MDMA now is good for? For PTSD treatment? Uh, I thought Dustin yeah. and Red, they, they would know because they actually had MDA. MDA. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. You know, originally they say it was created to make uh, fighting couples open up to each other. So if it were to circle around and be good for PTSD, that'd be quite a story. <laughs> Why is that? that like in this psychedelic drug? Oh, well, psychedelic. Yeah. I mean, same time period, I, I believe. But you know how it goes. Every single one of those was created as some kind of like uh, clinical conversation starter. Yeah, and then I got this new shit that's gonna fuck you up. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's how they get them. But I got this flocker. This shit will change your life. I might be, you know, if I'm wrong, comment below, everybody. This could be urban legend, right? That flocker, nah, that ain't nah. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. Your arm will still be moving if it's cut off. <laughs> 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 you ain't never heard that shit. We oh yeah, I've heard seen of it. it. That's so hilarious. <laughs> I said, Yeesh. "Who man? The first nigga that tried that shit and survived." God bless you, my man. So you know, uh, you know how many niggas had to go down that dusty road to get <laughs> to get boxed up before they can get it right. Try this out, my nigga. What's yeah. this? Uh, that brand new flocker. That's assuming they got it right. <laughs> <laughs> It don't look right. Yeah, you right. <laughs> Their posture ain't right. Yeah, yeah, you look a little, look a little rough, my man. Oh, you want to open your third eye and go to yeah. another dimension? <laughs> what dimension I'm in now? I think we call this the uh, chicken dimension. Somebody might be doing a back bend and standing up at the same time. Looking mm-hmm. like the aliens from uh, Man in Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Drinking some coffee. You okay, my man? Hell yeah, never been better. Yeah. All right, moving on to space, spaceexplorer.com. Nobody knows, whatever. I don't understand what's going on with people from SpaceX, but Amazon is making some hell of five business people. They have made a new robot cook that can make your pizza in 45 seconds. And it is in the end, it is called Stella Pizza. It's called the Shacaroni 5000. Yeah, I'm with Brandy. Does it make the Shacaroni? <laughs> How do you public? cook a pizza in 45 seconds, man? Radiation. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, since there's nobody in the truck, it can literally nuke it. You know? That shit got to be dangerous for the soul. Yeah, nigga, eat this hot and ready pizza in six seconds. No, I mean, I think it's saying it can, like, roll out the dough and put on toppings and shit pretty quick. I think I read the whole pizza-making process from beginning to end only takes, like, five minutes. That's insane. You know, I don't think I want a robot nuking my pizza and nuking my insides. Yeah, because maybe when we got them microwave, that shit probably fucked a lot of us up. <laughs> I know you know people ain't been right games, since dude. they started putting the radiation poison. I mean, no, no, uh, you know, the old microwave, that shit to breathe out hot heat like a dragon from the back. You remember <laughs> as a kid, you put your face back there. <laughs> you wonder why. You wonder why your nose bleed at night while you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and don't flex it. You all goddamn did it. <laughs> My couldn't wait to put no popcorn in the microwave. I said, y'all, y'all niggas got it so good. Just put it in the microwave. Nigga, there wasn't no microwave food back then. My bad, the Hungry Man Dinner. That's the worst meal ever. My- <laughs> We already talked about that. The loneliest dinner ever. Nigga, don't you ever get caught. I bet never go to no nigga house see no Hunger Man Jack dinners in there. <laughs> nigga, I know you alone. Maybe that will, Maybe that when the world really went back to shit when we started getting them Hunger Man dinners and them fast, quick meals. You know, back in the day, nigga, you had to eat, you had to eat dinner on time. <laughs> you had to put a hot plate and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Get my food cold, warming up in the stove. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And you had to cook, gasp. Yeah, I'm telling you, boy, it got to be the microwave. It got these niggas crazy. Too much radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dusty. Dusty, like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you turn the lights off, nigga be glowing green back in the day. <laughs> you wonder why you, why you get sick at 50. If you, if you ever read the back of it, that shit tell you don't stand in front of him when it's on. 
That shit tell you do not stand in front of microwave while it's on. I'm like, God damn, what kind of beam this is? <laughs> but yeah, you definitely better put the lead shielding over your testicles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. No, it, it, it's too late. Burn all the kids up. Oh, yeah. Well, nobody, you know, we want we could talk about Procter & Gamble getting sued over cancer calls and Old Spice and Secret Spray. What are I we use doing? Old here? Spice, and I don't understand the, the crackers. FDA, like, I'm with Brandon. Sorry about that, Jermaine. FDA, what are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. How much research are you doing? Nigga? Could they been using what this spray since the nineties? I hope they did more uh, research on the vaccine than they did this. That's all I'm saying. I don't think Old Spice was whipped up in a month, but we'll see. Now <laughs> all that and shit, it, a whole bunch of niggas coming out telling me they got cancer. Can you imagine getting cancer for using Old Spice your whole life? The spray on? I would be mad as a motherfucker. Yeah. I'd be like, Six of the lawsuits are from Connecticut. How old were those spices? Yeah. Bro, I'm like this. Somebody told me that shit a long time ago. I said, man, get serious. Yeah. They said the old one got metal and all type of stuff and get cancer. I started looking that shit up. I said, how you niggas selling me smell good be odoring? <laughs> That's giving me cancer. Yeah, I think that's why you're supposed to wear like antiperspirant. Mm. That's a yeah. lie. That's the worst kind. That's what they tell you. That's, that's the worst kind to get. Yeah, that's like a Diet Coke. Oh, I, don't, I only drink 12 Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, check your kidneys out. They're looking real small over there. Look, look like a chili pepper. I love white folk. Oh, I only drink Diet Coke. You know the motherfuckers ain't real. What do you mean? <laughs> Nigga, look it up. And they know that the first diet drink was a tab, and that was the last one they ever had. They don't even make diet drinks no more. Look at them. They just make low calorie drinks. Niggas don't even pay attention to that shit. Mm-mm-mm. Moving on, because Dusty like he's falling asleep. Let's talk about this. CNN.com. I can't see him. Perfectly preserved baby dinosaur discovered curled up in his egg. Nice. And they say it is 70 million years old. Nice. And it was on the, the, I don't know, man. Lies. <laughs> them niggas gone. Them niggas done went back into the mist and brought back one of them baby dinosaurs and about to fuck up some shit. They say baby dinosaur bones are small and fragile. <laughs> and hey, I'm pretty sure you niggas are handling it with care. <laughs> I mean, aren't all baby animals bones small and fragile? I would think so. Yeah. I mean, hell, even a baby turtle, you could probably step on and fucking squish to pieces. Yeah, Yeah, they just telling you the same thing. And they had a nice, see, the thing is, they didn't didn't show us a real picture. It was like an animated picture, some picture somebody drew. I need to see the goddamn pictures of that dinosaur. Because we live in 2021, baby. If you don't have a picture, it ain't real. True that, as Brandon would normally say. Agreed. Moving on, let's get on down. I'm going to tell people. I want. To see the pictures. pictures. If you got a live dinosaur, nigga, I want to see it before this Jurassic Park shit hit. How you going to find that intact anyway? Go ahead, Ma. Them niggas lying. They're King of the jungle. Lying. We're going we to bring this story from Christian. We're going to put our Q&A hats on one time. Not me, not real, because I ain't going to jail with that, that tongue foolery. This is going to be from the dailybeast.com. A Dallas QAnon cult is now drinking terrifying chemical cocktail. Families say they did an interview with this crazy ass lady and she told these people they were taking chemical compounds. What is it made of? Did anybody read it? They call it a punch bowl. Oh, God. From a no. woman who joined it in Texas. God, what to have like strychnine in it or fucking, uh, God. Strychnine? Chlorine, well, chlorine That's dioxide. It. Yes. Bleach. Yeah, they were drinking bleach. Man, look, dude, didn't QAnon start as a joke and then just got out of hand? And then the leader who made it was an FBI informant. We ain't forgot about that shit at the Tokyo Black Hour, my nigga. (laughs) (laughs) And how people forgot all about that shit. You remember that? I do. (laughs) Pepperidge Farm remembers. (laughs) Yeah. But, uh, man, the cult that she belongs to, these people are 
fucking crazy. I mean, obviously they're drinking bleach and shit, but like, man, they are that these these motherfuckers are wild, son. You know. And they're I'm, not drinking enough bleach, obviously. I would mm-hmm. have the dose because the COVID's still getting to your body. Yeah. I find it insane that you niggas didn't pay attention to the last blue jumpsuit game. They tried that punch bowl shit and it didn't work out for them either. <laughs> yeah, they mm-hmm. laced up their Nikes and. Yeah, yeah. float away to uh, <laughs> La La Land. Haley's Comet. Yeah, hey. is that what it was? The Haley Comet thing? Yeah, Hale Bop. Yeah. I hope They're these people catch a ride. I hope these people wear the croc Yeezys when they go. Man, please. I hate the. I, the hey, man, is it me? I'm going to talk. Why I want to say something. Is it me, bro? Is it like a bunch of people just wearing them shoes and they think they cool? Uh, I haven't seen a bunch of people wearing them, but they're hideous. Yeah. <laughs> bro. I'm telling you, I see so many people that shit on. Hey, I said, bro, you got no ugly ass shoes on. These fly. I see. You. I almost said a word I couldn't say. Oh. You don't look well, my man. Or oh, my woman. Yeah, Mar, I'm, I'm saying I hope these cult people fucking put on the uh, croc Yeezys when they go out. Yeah. Mm. They going to boost this nigga revenue another hundredfold. Yet again. How easy is it for a motherfucker to convince you to get in a coat? Are people just looking for friendship? Do they want to be a part of something? Dude, be that lonely? No matter how lonely I am, once you're having to start fuck my wife and I got to cut my dick off, it's a wrap. I ain't... Yeah, like, yeah my nigga, it's like, bro, you want this Kool-Aid, everybody dying. My nigga, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I got well, diabetes. I can't take that sugar. Well, a lot of them people, it was drink this <laughs> Kool Aid or to yeah, head. eat this bullet. You know, should have been fighting that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and then Jim Jones didn't even have the balls to kill himself. He had to get one of his homeboys to do it. Anyway, we're off the rails. What a trick. We ain't off the goddamn rail. I'm just trying to figure how motherfucker join a coat. If I go hang out with some boys and I start seeing nigga put on clan hood, we want you to be our first honorary black member. Yeah, my nigga ain't really into that shit, and I left a grenade in the restroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put this out there, man. Before you get into a cult, fucking write us. We'll talk to you, man. Yeah. We're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're Save America. We, we we on all avenues. Racist shit. Funny shit. Non-racist shit. We we all here, man. We cool. Yeah, we'll put your hip to game real quick, nigga. Don't put the jumpsuit on. <laughs> yeah. Like just I said, don't get it, out. If you're going to belong to a cult... Fucking holler at us. Yeah. yeah, the Tokyo Black Eye will be much more appeasing to you. I just don't understand, bro. I just can't be waking up in the morning. Nigga, what we eating today? Oatmeal. We had that yesterday. What we eating today? Oatmeal. My niggas, y'all got to change the menu. <laughs> <laughs> and anytime a nigga start coming out and putting his arms up like a preacher, we in a coat. You ain't going to catch me slipping like that. I don't get it. Yeah, well, hey, man, yeah. moving on. You know. I, I want to do a Dusty Starter fight. I have to throw this in there. Now, you know, oh, we'll yeah, do it on man. next episode, man. Oh, yeah, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do the TMZ shit right quick because I ain't going to talk about this too long. Jay-Z said no one can stop. No one can step to me in the verses. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Jay-Z, but it ain't like your catalog is untouchable. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I'm pretty sure Drake probably got as many songs as you got now. Yeah, they're not as good, but he has a lot of them. And he, well, he 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 sold more records, but he has more fucking automatic hits than Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I once you know. beat once you beat the Beatles, you shit, you you know, you did it all. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's true. He was on Billboard forever. You know, Lil Wayne can go with you. Hell, you know. Right, Scarface, Ghostface. <laughs> you being serious, right? Or you just joking? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Oh, are you nigga, about? please. The nigga got about four albums come out every ten years. They ain't their catalog ain't long enough. What Scarface's catalog is long enough? He's got a hell of long records. Yeah, to you, but he ain't got. You have to put people. You don't put 
You know what I mean? Even if his catalog is the same, you put the money with the people. You know what I mean? You don't put Jay Z or Scarface because he'll be like, I just murdered this motherfucker every time. You have to put Jay Z with somebody who has the same caliber of money in hits. Like Eminem, you do, you know, you do fucking Lil Wayne, you do Drake, you can do anybody else. You ain't gonna be able to do Scarface and nobody from the Wu Tang Clan because they just, they catalog is considered small compared to Jay Z. Wow. Uh, according to who? You, I guess, but like, hell, Ghostface Killers got like, what, 10 albums? Yeah, but motherfucking goddamn Jay Z got 47. And Drake got 9,700 with Lil Wayne. Well, mm-hmm. that guy. Quantity doesn't Not always saying, equal quality. You know? Hey. Now, can't nobody touch Lil Wayne's fucking album or song list? Yeah, that motherfucker right. was on like 900 in a year. So prolific. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can go up against Jay Z. And the last time Jay Z have done you know, collaboration, all the people who, all those people damn near dog him out on the collaboration. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just. Don't saying. get me wrong that Jay Z ain't nothing to goddamn sniff at, but. I'm just saying, yeah, Drake Jay-Z. don't beat him, Lil Wayne don't beat him, Eminem don't beat him, but then Dusty had that conversation. We need to go back and listen to Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> Where he raps with Eminem. Yeah. Yeah. I think most people would agree Eminem's verse is better, but some people tell me I'm wrong. So write in Comment. Tokyo Black Hour Gmail.com. I can say when he say that, that means he ain't gonna step to nobody in verses because he don't want to be beat. You know what I mean? When you sling your dick around America, you gotta you, you gotta kind of keep that shit going. He ain't gonna do no verses. Jay Z will break some. He'll break the motherfucking bank trying to do a, a verses with him. He gonna need seven hundred million dollars. Well, yeah, I mean, and you he gonna do his shit in goddamn the the, the, the crypto dot com arena. <laughs> Tickets got to be a $1,000, and he going to start throwing Beyonce and all his shit fucking the groove up. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd be that interested. In, well, I mean, I haven't watched a single verses, but... Yeah. They ain't that great so far. I don't watch that shit. I don't care about two old heads trying to see who got the best music. That does nothing for me. I'd rather play Halo or something else and get some entertainment, some pure fun out of it. I did watch. A, I did watch a bit of the RZA and DJ premiere. That was pretty good. Didn't even know they made one. How many people tuned in for that? Two hundred thousand. I don't know. I forget. Anyway. Wouldn't much. And that's the end of part one. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, come back Friday for the exciting conclusion of part two.